Hi. What are you doing? You telling everybody she's yours? Come here. Come here. I don't want to touch you. You're filthy. You do a little blue thing on you. What are you doing there, stud muffin? Exactly what Getting the scent. Details. Getting the scent. She loves her butt. I love your boy. I'm gonna kiss it. <laughs> Gross, Michael. Don't be dirty. He's rubbing the babies in there. Oh jeez, oh my god. Got him. So this little thing was lurking in um Louise's water. I can't really see him. Oh! And there he goes. Is that good? No. <laughs> Let him go. That's a big one. Bigger than the other one. Was, was that a rat or a mouse? Rat. Ugh, gross. What happened, Michael? No, we need to stay away from him. Where is Tiger? <laughs> Should let Daphne out and he'll be gone. So, we've been meaning to have a giveaway because we hit 900 subscribers. Um, so, I'm going to announce the giveaway on our Facebook page. Hey buddy. Good boy. So I'm going to announce the giveaway on our Facebook page. So, in order to be a part of the giveaway and have a chance to win the prize, nothing crazy, so don't worry about it. Um, you need to go to our Facebook page and make sure you like it. And there'll be a post there, a pinned post, um, with the giveaway, the instructions, etc. So make sure you like our Facebook page if you're a subscriber. Um, the link is down below. It says Facebook. Um, it's like it's facebook.com slash Bama Homestead. So make sure you like that. Um, you'll also, that's a good, another good way to see the videos that come up. Um, if you don't really rely on YouTube to, you know, notify you. Um, but yeah, check it out. Be a part of the giveaway. Win something cool. And, uh, we try to do, we do, we've done several giveaways and everybody's always really happy about it. When we hit, when we hit a milestone, um, we didn't start out, you know, doing these videos to gain a bunch of subscribers. I mean, we did. We are doing it to uh, help help with the homestead, but uh, we never thought we'd hit 900 subscribers. I mean, we're a little we're a little homestead in southern Alabama, but we are super blessed, and we appreciate everybody's help and kindness, and just that there's. It's crazy because we have a we have a core group of viewers now that are always commenting and asking questions about the family and Michael. Michael's a star of the show so we just we greatly appreciate everybody and uh, yes sir he's tapping me. Hmm. You're stirring up her minerals? Good boy. Say go check out Facebook. He doesn't know what Facebook is but you ready to feed the goats? You ready to milk them? He wants to milk the goats so bad. He can and feed them. And feed them. So it's not quite time yet, but them. we'll let him get the food ready. And we, and we feed them peanut hay and another hay and another hay. Um, those, those square things, they, they ate them all. The alfalfa cubes? Yeah. They ate them all. They get free, they're free fed hay anyway, so we don't really give them the alfalfa cubes they anymore. Want. Let me tell y'all something. We've heard that male goats pee on their heads. Ew. For those of you that don't have goats, they yeah. do. Male goats, well, billies, well, will pee on their heads to attract the female. Anyway, we hadn't yet seen um, Stud Muffin do that. Luis, 
Louise, the smaller one, got loose yesterday because we were cleaning and, you know, it was just an accident. Nothing that they did on their own. Um, but she got into Stud Muffin's, uh, Stud Muffin's cage with him, the, the big boy, the one we cut his horns. And um, anyway, he must have just thought he had a high school girl or something in there because he just was all excited. Uh, he tried to jump on her and um, Michael thought that was pretty funny. Anyway, we got her out. No harm, no foul. Didn't hurt her. They, he didn't get, uh, he didn't, you know, seal the deal or anything. And um, put her back in her cage. After that, he was just making all kinds of noise, pushing his lips out. And then I was fixing the fence and I watched him pee on his head. And let me tell you all, that was, uh, I know they do it, but I had never seen it. It's pretty gross. It really is pretty gross. So, he can have it. I mean, if he likes the scent and thinks of the ladies, if that's what drives the female goats wild, more power to him. What do you think about that, buddy? It's pretty gross, huh? Like, and, and poop and bugs. Poop and bugs. You just think about gross stuff now? Okay. And, and, and poopy, like... You're such a weirdo. Such a weird what'd, what'd you do all day today? Playing inside. Michael's just getting up and out feeling too well. He's He's been battling something, but he feels better now. Um he's had an upset stomach for a couple of days and we actually put off getting dinner with Scratch Made Homestead because he wasn't feeling too hot, but he's today's his second day of feeling a lot better, so we're happy about it. Uh we just put him on rest because he runs 100 miles an hour every day. I mean, it's hard to rest and get better when you're doing that. And, and he's four. He can't help it. But uh, he's doing a lot better today. Thank you for the prayers and, and thoughts. Yes, sir. This, we'll put it in this one. We're going to get the goat feed ready. So. Hmm? I'm gonna do this so she don't get a lot. All of it. I gotta give the turkey some water. got the three sides up so far got to do one more over there in that little gap and then we'll put the boards on the outside kind of seal it up there's gonna be a little gap between the there's gonna be a gap between the rail here and where the roof goes just for airflow things like that it doesn't get too cold but it does get real hot here so anyway looks good those are all recycled pallets that we got from a siding company they're 12 feet long we cut them Miss Snowflake here is ready to give some babies. So we'll get this finished up and get her moved over into her little... She's going to have all this 
roped off in here to where she has this whole area. And of course we do let her out in the in the fields during the day, so this will be nice for her. Gonna get her away from that butthead stud muffin over there. Hopefully a lot will happen this weekend. Laura and Michael are driving up to Gadsden to visit family, leaving myself and Hunter here. So hopefully we'll get some stuff done. Women are away, the men are or <laughs> <Her> work. <laughs> Her work. What do you think about that? We're gonna move your woman into another, into another uh, location because you're just, you're just getting too big for her. You see where we can, you see where we cut it. We, Hunter, we cut his skirts with a wire saw. I'll show you all that. Uh, I did show you all that. So worked out pretty well. He's a good boy. If not, if not a sweet snowflake is such a snowflake is such a sweet goat. She's just like a dog. She will let you nuzzle her and hold her and hug her. And it's a shame that she has stud muffin for a husband, but she does. Look at how big that baby is. That's a wide load right there. Is that your sister? No. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. <laughs> When's she gonna have babies? You think she's gonna have two babies? Hmm? Yes! Somebody's feisty. You ready for bed? Oh! Got attacked by a turkey. Yeah. Our goal is to move Snowflake this weekend and move the turkeys this weekend. So. And, they With, and those turkeys won't get out. Yeah. We came out here earlier and the turkeys were in her cage and she was in the turkey cage. She had put a hole in the wire fence so we fixed it and uh, after we move we're gonna put Louise in with her as well I believe for a little while and I think that we're going to um, widen this for snowflake or stud muffin so he'll have some more room but he is a brute he really is we're talking about you and, and you always be ugly to you leave yeah Ooh. what's his name Still muffin. Oh, how old is he? Four. Four? It might be close. No, 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 five. Five? It may be five. I don't remember. He is five. Huh? Hey, Dad. Yeah, buddy. I'm gonna cut. No. Well, we have Hunter and myself have worked on finishing this enclosure for her name snowflake so we're getting pretty close actually we got a nice little enclosure in there we got to go to the hardware store tomorrow and get some more tin to go across the top but this is where she will be able to have her babies we'll put some hay down it's completely fenced in with wire and the free pallets that we have get so nice little enclosure for her I think it'll work quite well The pallets are 12 foot long pallets that we cut. We get them from a siding company. Uh, so if you know if you know have a siding company in your town, you probably get them from them. Take my oh, okay. It was on manual focus. <laughs> anyway. Almost done. And then we will build the turkey enclosure. Ta-da! Looks pretty good.